Let's get ready to rumble! The Monster Mash is the latest animated feature out there, and you may recognize some of the voice actors behind some of the most cheerful wrestling monsters out there. Must rise. Steve, wake up! Are you pretending to be asleep right now? From talk show hosts and athletes to professional WWE wrestlers, this film has it all. Rumble takes place in a world where monsters aren't feared for being under the bed. They're prized fighters who earn celebrity status with their skills in the ring. The movie premiered exclusively on Paramount Plus and was met with positive reviews praising the fresh storytelling and relatable underdog story. Written by Matt Lieberman and Ethan Cohen, Rumble is one of Paramount's feature animations and a great start for the streaming site that launched earlier this year. Welcome to Stoker, the birthplace of monster wrestling. With competitors like Netflix, they also hired director Hamish Grieve, known for his work on funny and beloved films like Monsters vs. Aliens, Captain Underpants, the first epic movie, and the Christmas classic Rise of the Guardians. So let's check out the story and the team he chose. Might not look like much, but there is a champion monster inside of him. It's about to go down at the Jimbo Coil Stadium, where monsters of all shapes, sizes, and scale colors come with their trainers to earn their shot at money and fame. The newest to that list is Steve the Stupendous, a down-and-out wrestler who just wants another chance. His stars align when he turns into Winnie, a young trainer with a tough past who's looking to get her feet wet. They've got a short amount of time before Steve goes up against the greatest wrestler there is, Tentacular. Sounds like a pretty epic story, right? Well, the voices behind the cast are just as epic and extensive. Each monster and trainer is taken on by the talented cast, so let's take a look at who's behind this funny, original underdog flick. Oh, I love Froyo. Wait, if I live. It's hard out there for a monster, and nobody has it harder than Steve. His name might be flashy, but he hasn't felt that way in a long time. He's an amateur in the wrestling game, but he dreams of one day going toe to toe or claw to claw with Tentacular, the champ. Stoker keeps the stadium. I mean, unless you're ch 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 chicken. In order to do that, he needs a trainer to whip him into shape, literally. Steve can be lazy and unmotivated thanks to his upbringing where he always felt overshadowed by his father, Ray Burns Sr. But many changes all of that. Steve is played by Will Arnett, who's a powerhouse when it comes to versatile acting. He's blowing us out of the park before with his portrayal of Batman in the Lego Batman movie. This isn't just his first time working with director Hamish Grieve as they both contributed to Monsters vs. Aliens. Will's also known for live-action roles in comedies like Arrested Development, which has become a cult classic alongside the highly crude but highly hilarious BoJack Horseman. If you're a longtime fan looking to laugh at some of Arnett's more PG-rated material or maybe watch The Master in Action with your kids, then this performance is definitely one you should check out. Everybody needs that extra push, and Winnie knows how to deliver it when it's necessary. Like you destroyed King Gorge? Why don't you tell us all about that one? She may be a teenager, but she's got a big background when it comes to coaching. Her father, who isn't around anymore, used to be one of the best coaches out there. In fact, he was the great Jimbo Coyle, wrestling coach extraordinaire to Ray Burns Sr. Steve's dad. To connect with him more, she gets into the game. As fate would have it, Steve is just as inexperienced and needs her help. This takes them on a new adventure. Winnie is played by Geraldine Viswanthan, who has worked with Arnett on BoJack Horseman's final season. The young comedian recently was featured in a film with John Cena titled Blockers and the hilarious Miracle Workers as Prudence Aberdeen. She's definitely making a name for herself. It's time for the spectacular tentacular. This big fish isn't looking to stay in a small pond, so he moves on to bigger and bigger. Somewhere much, much better. 
When he steps into the ring, everything lights up. He's the guy to beat and he's played by real-life showman and athlete Terry Crews. Terry has become the go-to guy for feel-good movies and TV shows. His comedic timing is spot on and he's recognized for being skilled in nearly every form of entertainment. Fans of Crews remember him from Everybody Hates Chris, Idiocracy, and White Chicks, the role that made him famous. He's also done voice acting before, appearing in Sonny's Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2 and Hulk and the Agents of Smash. Today, most know him for his beloved role in Brooklyn Nine-Nine, where he played Sergeant Jeffords. He's also worked with Will Arnett on Arrested Development. Clearly, these friends like to stick together. Running Stoker Town isn't easy, and it makes this guy pretty tense. The anxiety-ridden mayor of Stoker, where our main character comes from, can barely keep it together. He messes up so much that you'd probably want to elect someone else. You're actually much, much worse than you know! He's played by the talented Fred Milamed, who's a seasoned voice actor. He's appeared in the beloved series like Adventure Time and the iconic Courage, the Cowardly Dog. He works just as well in front of the camera, having appeared in hit series like Impeachment and American Crime Story, where he played William H. Ginsburg in Apple TV's The Morning Show. When it comes to wrestling, especially in Stoker, Mark Remy is a purist. He loves the game for what it is and doesn't take too kindly to people switching things up. Your knowledge of dance moves is mystifying to me. Still waters run deep, Mark. Still waters run deep. When Steve starts fighting with the new technique, Remy is the first to call it out and question Steve's place as a real wrestler. He doesn't miss a beat when analyzing the matches and is played by Stephen A. Smith. Smith fits the role perfectly as he is one of the most well-recognized sports analyzers and sports news anchors out there. Smith has worked four years at ESPN and he has also covered many major sporting events like the NBA Countdown in his own sports show, Stephen A. World. Look Looks like life is imitating art as this is the perfect role for him. Sidekick to the very mouth Remy is Lights Out McGinty. His name goes along with his reputation. What a sad end to the legacy of Stoker. He's got the gift for Gab and he uses it to take out anybody doing nonsense in the ring. He is played by Jimmy Tatro, who you might know from his successful YouTube channel. Since stepping out on the video platform, Jimmy has made a name for himself as a writer, comedian, and actor. Since then, he's appeared alongside Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill in 22 Jump Street and Selma Hayer and Adam Sandler in Grown Ups 2. She's any sport lover's worst nightmare. We all love to think that the sport matches, games, and tournaments we consume are authentic and full of grit, hard work, and determination. That isn't always the case, and one of the major reasons for that is Lady Mayan. She runs the underground wrestling circuit and fixes the matches in her favor. Looks like we have a little bit of a problem, Stevie. I paid you to lose tonight, like I do. She and Steve work together for some time, but eventually her true horns show. She is played by Bridget Everett, who, like her co-stars, has worked in comedy for some time. She's a frequent collaborator with Amy Schumer and appeared as Patty Cakes, the lead in the movie of the same name. You may also recognize her from Trainwreck and Little Evil. Every big wrestling star needs a coach and the spectacular Tentacular has Siggy by his side. Though Winnie is a better coach, having landed Tentacular a serious victory, Siggy is old school. After all, he did assist Jimbo Coyle back in the day. You're okay with this? With him destroying everything you and dad built? Winnie, let me tell you something. I loved your dad. Siggy is played by the legendary Tony Danza, who's been acting for decades. He's best known for playing Tony Bonata in Taxi, the 80s series that made him a household name. He's also appeared in modern movies and series like Don John, The Good Cop, and Outmatched. Taking us back into the ring is Axe Hammer, a monster fighter who's representing the ladies of wrestling. Oh, too much. This character appears briefly but really leaves an impression with her swift moves. She is played by Rebecca Quinn, who is a real-life wrestler. That's right, this leading lady has appeared in many WWE arenas as the unstoppable Becky Lynch. From Monday Night Raw to the Royal Rumble, she's done it all, including SummerSlam and WrestleMania. Voicing a fighter compared to actually taking a few hits in the ring must have been a piece of cake for her. 
Rounding out the roughhousers is Ramarilla. This thick horned ram like monster has a mean scowl and a few tricks up his sleeve. He's played by another wrestling sensation, Joe and I. He's a fellow Monday Night Raw resident who appears as the sometimes arrogant and always skilled Roman Reigns. That cockiness has led him to grand stages like SummerSlam, WrestleMania, and of course, WWE SmackDown. He's also expanding his resume to films as he showed up in Fast and Furious Hobbs and Shaw. We'll most likely be seeing him on the big screen again. With a cast like this, Rumble really does live up to its name. You can catch it on Paramount. Mount Plus. Who's your favorite voice actor? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this. Happy holidays and I'll catch you in the next one.